colorectal cancer advocates have come to DC and we are the ones at the White House, we're the ones at the National Press Club, and we're the ones on the Hill making sure that this country and our lawmakers know that colorectal cancer is a national priority. Colorectal cancer is in Washington, D.C. today with over 29 states represented. There are over 1 million colorectal cancer survivors in the United States and we're representing them here today. But we're joined by caregivers, spouses, family members, daughters, sons, because we've lost people to colorectal cancer and unfortunately we carry their stories here and we share these stories with our members of Congress. It's incredibly important that we honor those lost, but it's also important for us to continue to forge forward and pay it forward. We don't want anyone else diagnosed with colorectal cancer. We're here to raise the profile. What we do is critical. Being able to give a voice to those who need one. Fighting and shouting uh, as loud as we can with as many tools as we can. Making change and bringing awareness. I play a big part of that and I'm happy to share my voice along with helping others find theirs. We are at Call on Congress. This is the capstone event for Fight Colorectal Cancer. It's the pinnacle of pinnacles of being an advocate with us, and it's where people who have been touched by this disease come and make their voices heard. I uh, come back to Call on Congress each year since Arlene passed, and I find great comfort in being with other people that have going through or have gone through the same thing that I've gone through. I hope to be heard, that my story is um, listened to, that people understand that there are more people um, under the age of 50 that are being affected and we need coverage, we need care, we can't prolong it. I want my voice heard basically for my son, for the future, so that people don't have to go through what I went through. Today we're training advocates. We're teaching them the importance of medical research about what's happening in the labs that are curing cancer. I'm a cancer genetic counselor at the Ohio State University Comprehensive Cancer Center. I work with families that have cancer running in the family to help them determine if it's hereditary or not. I'm marching on the hill so that we can increase awareness about colon cancer and inherited forms of colon cancer like Lynch syndrome and the polyposis syndromes. Nationally, we have a new goal, 80% by 2018, and over 50 organizations have joined on to this goal. We were one of the first because we we're so excited to defeat this disease. We're asking all different types of organizations to get behind 80 by 18 and make screening 80% of the population for colorectal cancer by 2018 so that we can make a difference and save lives. We are also the nonprofit organization that was invited with the American Cancer Society, among other distinguished colleagues, to be at the National Press Club today. Angie Davis and our founder and chair of the board, Nancy Roach, went to a meeting at the White House. They sat among colleagues and asked for support of colorectal cancer and specifically for legislation that would improve coverage for Medicare patients and colonoscopy, giving voice to all of the patients across the country who've been touched by this disease. We have some tremendous advocates here. And whenever I hear the personal story, that really makes you stop and listen. I hope you can all do that with respect to this critical, critical issue. You make this so easy for me to continue to do this. I made it clear until we met with the White House today that there is a fix that the President can do without Congress. I'm doing this because I can. 80 by 18. We're going to keep pushing. Here we go. Here we go. We are on the Hill this week and we will be training advocates for the next two days about research funding, about bills that pertain to colorectal cancer, and with the training in hand we're putting our advocates right on the stairs of Capitol Hill and in the offices of our elected officials so that they can talk to our representatives about their needs and our priorities. Today our advocates met with their legislators all day long and really use those tools that they've learned while they've been here with us at Call on Congress. And tonight, it's all about celebrating that achievement. There's something really empowering about seeing democracy in action and then being part of that democracy in action. Mingling with each other and figuring out how exactly they can advocate all year once they return home. I am an advocate and I am strong. I'm an advocate and I'm strong. I am an advocate and I am strong. I am an advocate. I am an advocate. I am an advocate. I am an advocate and I am strong. I am an advocate and I am strong. I am strong. strong.